Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nicole Nalepa, and here are some of your top stories on this Monday, February 14th, Valentine's Day. The state Senate will be voting today on extending Governor Lamont's emergency executive orders. Chief among them is the governor's plan to keep school masking mandates in place until the end of the month and then allow local schools and towns to make their own decision. Also starting today, police in West Hartford will be wearing body cameras while on duty. That includes every officer from the chief on down. The department recently purchased 140 of these Axon body cams, and the WHPD leaders say that they are very excited because they want to increase transparency, and they believe the equipment will be a helpful tool in protecting both the officers and the public. All right, we saw the moon set, and we're seeing the sun rise. Just a beautiful, beautiful day out there, but boy, is it cold. Temperatures are in the single digits uh, in parts of northwest Connecticut, low teens just about everywhere else, but here comes the sun. It's beautiful. I'm not going to do too much to warm things up today. You'll notice it's 10 degrees in Waterbury with a wind out of the north northwest at 13. That's a little tough. All right, stores. Good morning to you. Everybody is snow covered in stores now with the exception of the roads. The roads, uh, the snow didn't stick to most of the roads, which is good news from yesterday. We picked up anywhere from uh, three to four inches of snow in parts of northeast and southeast Connecticut. And as you can see from our Doppler, the snow is now gone, has moved from west to east and out of the state. Visibility is good at 10 miles. We're going to have a great day today in terms of sky conditions, but it is going to be chilly. I think the kids are going to be inside today. It's going to be a little tough to be outdoors with those temperatures in the low 20s, significantly below freezing and below the average. And the ride home, only 23 to 25, so that's a little tough. Hartford, 16 degrees. We're talking about a wind out of the northwest at 10 that's not too great. Look at the breeze in Old Saybrook. Beautiful skyline though, right? And here is New Haven with a temperature of 17 with a northwest wind at 14. That's going to knock that number down significantly. Look at Winstead. It's 9, but it feels like 1. 13 in East Hartford, but it feels like 3. And then not a lot of wind currently in Berlin and in Norwich. So the numbers, let's look at Salisbury, 7, 7, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's the spread between 7 and 19 this morning. That's tough. And we are down significantly from where we were just 24 hours ago between 12 and 16 degrees cooler than 24 hours ago. And there's that persnickety wind anywhere from 10 to 13 to 14 miles an hour with some gusts right now to 23 miles an hour in Meriden. And this is what it feels like. Single digits, if not below zero in Meriden. Waterbury, Torrington, Salisbury, Goose Eggs in Chester, only three degrees in New Haven and in Bridgeport, and it feels like six in Groton. That's the way it's going to be throughout the day today. It gets a little bit better, but not by much. So cold and windy to start, sunny skies today, and tomorrow looks good. Temperatures are going to moderate a little bit tomorrow as the breeze comes down. Uh, daytime highs today only topping out in the low 20s for inland Connecticut. Maybe some mid, maybe some upper 20s for the shoreline by later on this afternoon. We'll keep an eye on things there. But here's the Futurecast wind chill values. Again, it stays pretty much the way it is this morning throughout the day today. Single digit real feel values as we move through the afternoon and right on into this evening. Here's early morning Futurecast. Good news. It's dry, high and dry for the foreseeable future uh, today through Wednesday and right on into Thursday morning. But Thursday morning, we start to see some rain approaching from the north and west. That rain gets here by Thursday late afternoon and into the evening. It'll be plain rain as the temperatures will be incredibly mild in the mid to upper 50s Thursday. 38 for the overnight low Thursday night into Friday, so it'll stay all rain. And then the system kind of exits by about noontime on Friday. Daytime highs today under mostly sunny skies in the low mid to upper 20s. Sun was at 648, sets at 523. Tomorrow a good day, Wednesday a good day. Moderating temperatures 58 by Thursday with rain Thursday night, especially Thursday night into Friday morning. Friday afternoon gradual clearing and then it does get chillier for the upcoming weekend, but at least it's a nice tranquil weekend with no snow in the forecast. All right, just about 7.05. Nicole, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Scott. A Valentine's Day tradition continues to play out once again this year. Today, you and your loved one can get 
married for free at the Meeting House in Old Mystic Village. Marie Tyler Wiley has been officiating these free weddings for nearly 20 years, and she says this is a way to tie the knot without the stress of a traditional wedding and the cost. To thank everybody for what a great life I have and to give people the opportunity to get married in a very unconventional way, but so easy and so much fun. Couples need to have a wedding license from the town of Stonington, and Town Hall opens at 8.30 this morning, and you can get a license and get married in the same day. The Meeting House in Old Mystic Village is open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's first come, first serve. Also on this Valentine's Day, a transplant survivor from West Hartford is asking you to help save lives, and he says that you can do this by supporting, supporting the National Marrow Donor Program. High school teacher Jason Sorensen was diagnosed with the rare form of leukemia back in 2019. He found a life-saving match for a marrow transplant. The nonprofit organization that helped Sorensen is called Be the Match. Both Sorensen and his wife are encouraging Congress to boost funding for the nation's donor registry now. The more people on the registry, the more chance there is that someone's going to match, the higher likelihood that, um, that someone's life is going to be saved. For more information on the National Marrow Tr Registry, visit our website or the Channel 3 app. Thank you so much for tuning in to Eyewitness News on this Valentine's Day. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Be healthy, stay positive, have a great day, and stay warm, too. We'll see you back here tomorrow.